When it comes to saving money in our household budgets, one of the easiest places or the first places of variable spending that we tend to cut back on is eating out. So I thought today I would share some realistic tips and strategies that help keep me out of the drive through or picking up takeout or going out to a restaurant on a regular basis whenever things are really busy. We were recently out of town at a swim meet or maybe it was a baseball tournament, I can't remember. It was a kids activity and we were nearby but not you know, close enough to home where we could come home between sessions. And I did a great job of packing something for the kids to snack on and eat but I had forgotten to pack something for myself. So between games or sessions or activities, I needed to go out and grab something for lunch for myself. And I just went through a drive-through, just a fast food drive-through. And I got a meal that was just like some chicken nuggets and some French fries and a drink. And I was shocked when they told me the total. It was almost $10 for that fast food meal. So that was when I realized, okay, inflation, it's not just limited to gas. It's not just limited to what's happening in the grocery stores. It's happening in other places as well. So obviously, this is maybe a behavior that I'm going to need to be aware of and address and I'm you know probably just not going to be able to do that as often as I used to be able to if I want to maintain control of my budget but let me say something right now if you are a person who is in a busy season of your life if you are a parent and you are constantly you know driving your kids to and from activities balancing work along with it if you are in a busy season of life at work if you are just starting out on your own maybe after graduating from college or starting out in your career and you're just super busy believe me I totally get it I totally get getting to the end of the day and not having a plan for dinner and sometimes the most organized proactive people can still find themselves in that position but what can we do realistically if we want to feed ourselves and our families and we make it to the end of the day and we don't have a plan for dinner I thought I would share with you some things that I do some easy quick meal ideas some different kinds of items that I keep on hand in my kitchen that help make meal prep really quick whenever I need it to be and hopefully there is something here that can inspire and help you. I am here in the Walmarts actually filming for another video which hopefully you will see on my channel soon after this one posts but I wanted to share with you some of the things that I regularly keep on hand in my kitchen that make really quick meals that make options for really fast meals and I don't necessarily have all of these things all of the time and you don't have to buy them at Walmart a lot of them are available at other stores but since I'm here shopping for another video I thought I'd share some of these items with you when it comes to proteins finding some that are already cooked or that cook very quickly is a big help so I really like to use smoked sausage in quick dishes when I need to make something fast because it's fully cooked so I just chop it up and throw it into something and it doesn't have to cook you just have to heat it up or you can eat it actually cold like in pasta salads and stuff I usually get the turkey kind but obviously there's lots of different kinds here as well. And I know that Aldi carries this in a house brand also. Pepperonis are another you know, fully cooked protein meat option and they're seasoned. So when you toss these into a sauce or into a pasta dish or into like a pasta salad, they're gonna add a lot of flavor because they're already seasoned and pretty salty themselves. You can do a lot with canned biscuits and canned doughs. You can make different kinds of sandwiches or different kinds of wraps. I like to keep some of these crescent rolls on hand because there are some little turkey and cheese roll-ups that my oldest daughter likes to make. She just rolls up lunch pita cheese in the crescent rolls, bakes it in the oven, and then you can just have like chips and fruit with that. I also really like the ready-made pizza crust because you can just like roll up whatever you want in that. I make a pizza braid with this a lot of times with it. You can use stuff that you already have on hand to throw together a quick pizza. If you've watched my channel recently, you know that I love my frozen tortellini. It's still less than $3 for a 19 ounce bag at Walmart. I usually have a bag or two of this in my freezer. I've recently seen it at Aldi as well. I picked it up in a store brand at my locally owned grocery store and I like that it cooks really quickly. You can use it in a variety of dishes. And if you're looking for some ideas, I just so happen to have just filmed and posted a video all about tortellini and how I use it in different meals. I will leave it linked in the description box below for you to check out. 
And while we're standing here in the freezer section, I thought I would mention hash browns or frozen potatoes. Potatoes are one of those really great budget-friendly starches and the, it, it's so they're so versatile they can be used in a variety of ways, but it typically takes potatoes a while to cook, right? We have to boil them or blanch them or fry them or bake them. And hash browns are already par cooked. So a lot of times you can make some really quick dishes with those. I've seen people even throw them into a waffle iron and make hash brown waffles that you can then top with other things. So that can be a really good ingredient that can make for really quick meals when you're in a bind. And if you are a person who likes to grab breakfast on the go, you probably already know that some of those breakfast sandwiches can get pretty pricey. My favorite one at a certain coffee shop is around $5. But behind me, I'm standing in front of the breakfast sandwich section in the, in the freezer section. And if you don't have time to make them from scratch, you still can probably find a pretty decent deal, way lower price on these breakfast sandwiches for a quick breakfast when you're heading out the door as opposed to swinging through the drive-thru on your way to, to wherever it is that you're heading. Pancakes are another pretty quick meal for me and if you keep a complete pancake mix in your pantry All you have to do is add water and then you can cook these on the griddle or on the stove Or I have even recently discovered that you can throw them onto a baking sheet and you can bake the pancake mix in the oven And then just slice it up into little you know pancake sized squares and they're another blank pallet food So you can add whatever you have on hand if you have fruit if you have peanut butter if you want to scramble up some eggs to go on the side and again, this is one of those really cost-friendly things right now. At my Walmart, the Great Value Pancake Mix is $1.68 for a two-pound box. So keeping one of these on hand in the pantry, that can come in handy on nights whenever I feel like I wanna go through the drive-through, but I decide maybe I'll go home and see what I can whip up instead. I can whip up some pancakes. Gnocchi is another really great thing to have on hand that can make a lot of really quick meals because like those frozen tortellini, they don't take very long to cook and they're really versatile. You know, you can use them in all different kinds of dishes based on what you have on hand. You can throw them into a pot with some veggies or some sauce, throw in a little cheese, maybe a protein if you have it on hand. And that's a meal that comes together quickly because again, these only take about three to five minutes to cook. Of course, frozen steam in the bag veggies make for a really quick veggie side. You guys know I really like the, bro the broccoli florets with a little bit of salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese. I also really like the green beans, especially the fine green beans that they have up here. They're more like whole green beans as opposed to the cut green beans. I can do a lot with those. This video is sponsored by Green Chef, and Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company with meals to fit a variety of lifestyles, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, even gluten-free. I love having a few Green Chef meals in my refrigerator because those are things that I don't have to think about when it comes to cooking. They come with everything already prepped, everything measured and pre-portioned, plus these really great instructions with really colorful pictures to help guide you along while you're making the meal. Green Chef has also been a way for my husband and myself to enjoy restaurant quality meals without having to pay restaurant quality prices. We went out on a date night last week and we will still budget for that occasionally, but I can tell that it's going to be a little bit less often than we have gone out in the past because we went to just kind of a regular casual restaurant that we have visited numerous times and I could not believe the bill when it came. We shared an appetizer, we shared an entree, we each had a couple of beers and the tab was over $75 at the end of the night. The Green Chef meals, the cost per serving is much lower than we're going to pay whenever we go out to a restaurant, but we're going to get chef curated meals that we can make right in our own home. But they have an even better deal for first time customers today. When you follow the link in the description box, you're going to get $130 off plus free shipping when you use the code Mindy130. We have been getting Green Chef boxes for almost a year now and my husband and I keep discovering new favorite recipes. Every time they come, there is something really delicious. And these are meals that I would not normally you know, prep or pick or make for myself. So it's helping us to kind of expand our palate a little bit and try some dishes we wouldn't normally try and discover some things that we really, really like. So if you have been on the fence about Green Chef and you think that you wanna try it, if it's your first time, you're gonna get a really great discount whenever you visit that link in the description box and use the code Mindy130 for $130 off plus free shipping. And thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. 
So far, I have shared with you some ideas for when we find ourselves right at dinner time and we need that quick fix. But if we are just a little bit proactive, we can actually make some preparations whenever we have time that can help us, you know, out of that bind whenever we find ourselves at a loss for what's for dinner. One of the ways we can do that is to prepare a few freezer meals. And there are websites and there are YouTube channels and there are Pinterest accounts that are devoted specifically to freezer meal prep. It doesn't have to be, you know, super fancy. There are lots of really easy ones out there. there. There are some that are even designed for the crock pot where you prepare it, freeze it, and you throw it in the crock pot and it's ready to go. Speaking of the crock pot, I am down here on the kitchen floor next to the cabinets underneath my stove because this is where I store my crock pots. Yes, I said crock pots plural because the crock pot is one of the ways that I avoid going through the drive through or wondering what's for dinner at five, six, seven o'clock at night. I know a lot of people really like their instant pot and that's fantastic. I recently acquired one and I've been playing around with that a little bit, but the crock pot is a, or the slow cooker I should say, is a much better tool for me because I find that I have time earlier in the day. I have time in the mornings. I have time in the early afternoon because I work from home. When I don't have time is in the evenings whenever I'm driving kids around to activities. So if I can be just a little bit proactive and throw something in the crock pot, then I don't have to worry about what's for dinner later and wonder if I'm going to need to run through the drive through And if you don't know where to start where that's concerned, again, Google is your friend. Pinterest is your friend. YouTube is your friend. There are all kinds of videos out there with really easy crock pot recipes, including some that are throw and or dump and go recipes where you just put everything in the crock pot and then set it to cook and it's ready for you whenever it's dinner time. And you don't have to have, you know, a dozen or two dozen recipes. You just need to find two or three that work for you and maybe think about keeping those ingredients on hand so that when you know it's going to be busy, if you can just be a little bit proactive and think ahead, you're gonna have that meal ready for you. Or if you have an Instant Pot, a lot of times those recipes will work um, for the Instant Pot as well, and you can have them ready in the evening. I'm actually utilizing my crock pot tonight. It is one of those nights and I'm trying to be proactive. I'm understanding that I've got to get kids to and from a lot of places. My husband is out of town, so I'm actually putting something into the crock pot right now at around two o'clock before the after school craziness <laughs> ensues. But I will try to hunt down some of my favorite easy crock pot recipes. I'll leave a link to a few of them in the, in the description box below or to a couple of videos that I've made in the past with those types of recipes. Have you tried checking out YouTube for some $5 dinner items? ideas. Granted, some of these videos, especially if they're a little older, would probably cost a dollar or two more than they did back in the days whenever we were creating these videos. I know that I have made several $5 dinner videos and a lot of budget meal creators are going to have those in their repertoire. They're gonna have them on their video list. And one of the great things about those videos is that we're showing you exactly what to run into your store and grab in order to create a really quick meal for your family. And you might be thinking, but Mindy, that involves me going into the grocery store. But is it really any faster to go through a drive through than it is for you to run into the grocery store and grab four, five, six ingredients to create a meal for your family? Probably not. I know that for me, a lot of times I'm sitting in that drive through line for a while, or if I'm getting online and ordering it, I'm having to spend extra time then plugging in my payment information and all that stuff. So it really isn't that much quicker for me to go through a drive through than it is for me to run into the store and grab a few items that I can use to make a really easy meal for my family. and thanks to YouTube, thanks to Google, thanks to Pinterest, there's a whole lot of ideas that are at the ready for us. I mean, at the very least, I can probably run in and grab a rotisserie chicken and maybe some instant mashed potatoes or a box of rice or pasta that I can cook up really quickly at home, right? I even have a video that I made last summer with a two ingredient dinner hack where I gave lots of ideas for how you could use like a ready-made dip. Like you could run into the store and grab a ready-made ranch dip or spinach artichoke dip and then add that to other things that you have hanging out in your house or maybe things you can grab right really quickly at the grocery store to create all different kinds of meals like sandwiches or pastas or one pan dishes. So I'll leave that video linked in the description box as well if you're interested in checking it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas or helpful tips for keeping us out of the drive-through or out of the restaurant takeout line, be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you want some really quick, easy meal ideas that come together fast, I did a meal prep video last month where I shared some ideas along those lines. So I'll leave it right here. Be sure to go and check that out.